welcome to the show. Here we are once again. Okay, so uh, for today's show, a few, few, I have some songs that have been going crazy, like nonstop in my head. So before I even do my PSA stuff, here go the songs because I need them out of my head and like to whoever they're meant for. So if you're not familiar with my show, welcome to the show. Um, if you are familiar with my show, welcome back to the show. Um, spirit or loved ones on the other side will bring songs in. Now, one song can be for like 50 different people for 50 different reasons. The song, if I sing the lyrics because I don't know the words, <clears throat> But if I do the lyrics and, and you know this song and it either A, answers a question, it was a song that a loved one on the other side loved, or it's just something that um, means something in your life, or you, you associate this song with somebody on the other side, the song's for you. And there, there's, there's no limit to, to how or why a song could be for, for you. OK, if it's just a song you like and somebody on the other side is sending it through. It's for you from somebody on the other side or it's their song that they liked. It's for you from somebody on the other side. So the first song <clears throat> is a Marvin Gaye song. And there were actually two Marvin Gaye songs, but the other song I can't. Maybe it will come through as I'm doing this. But the first song is um, when I get that feeling I need sexual healing. Okay, so that's the first song. So whoever that's for and why ever it's for you, it's yours now. Tag, you're it. All on you. Um, and the second song, I don't even know all of the words to it. I can tell you, I can barely, barely get the, the, the lyrics I'm supposed to be getting. Um, and I'm going to mess up the lyrics and I know I am. And if you're watching on YouTube, you can correct me if you know this song. Um, something like something on my knob, like corn on the cob. I don't really know that song. I keep hearing that verse over and over again. Not really sure about that song, what it means. And I I mean, we can all kind of try to guess what that means. But yeah, there's that. Okay. Maybe it's slob on my knob, like corn on the cob. Not really sure. If you know, let me know. Okay, um, the next song is, um, oh my goodness, it was just there and it's gone. As, as the show goes on, if songs come through, I will give them to you. Okay, and then I have somebody, uh, Brian, on the other side, reaching out saying, hey, hey. I, I think Brian... Brian, it is Brian for sure. And I think the person name, like sometimes when I get a name, it's somebody here. Sometimes it's somebody there. I think Brian's there because he's saying, hey, sis, hey, sis, hey, sis. So if you have a brother named Brian on the other side, that would be for you. Um, okay, now to my PSAs. <laughs> I, I'm sure there will be many more songs throughout the, so the show, so please... Here we go. Um, first and foremost, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for joining me for this hour. We are going to try to have an amazing time during this show. Whew, I want to thank everybody that has called in. Please, I will try to get to every single caller and or um, every person that asks a question online. You can... If you're watching me on YouTube right now live, you can put your question in to the YouTube thing and uh, chat, and I will try to get to it. If you are watching me on one of the many 
television stations or listening to the replay of the podcast, you can join us live every Monday and Wednesday at noon central time. Yeah. Um, please, I will never reach out to you for a reading or anything like that. If you want an appointment, you reach out to me. I do not reach out to people. So don't get scammed is my whole thing. On any social media, do not get scammed. Okay, don't, don't, don't do it. Don't, don't, don't do it. Um, I try to put my website on everything so you can go directly to my website and uh, get information about me if you would like a private appointment. All righty, now, here we go. I want to say hi to everybody on YouTube with me this morning. You guys are freaking amazing. So we have Aaron, hey Mo, Amy, Genevieve, Heather, Estella, um, Caroline. Hi, Caroline. Caroline. I think it's Caroline. Caroline, Caroline. I'm pretty sure it's Caroline. Um, Fawn. Hey, Fawn. Uh, Genevieve. Terry, I just love you guys so much. Sal. Oh, Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Um, and then <clears throat> Heather, Terry, Genevieve. Yeah, you guys, you're the best. I just love, um, I'm so, I can't even begin to express how grateful I am for you guys being here with me on this journey, growing with, you know, we're all growing together, learning together and, you know, connecting with spirit together. That's uh, like so freaking amazing. I know that on in this world, the one thing we have is time that's irreplaceable. We can never get time back. So when somebody takes even two minutes of their day to join me on this show or just have a conversation with me, when people spend their time with you, that's the only true asset that they cannot get back. Like we can't add that later on. Like that's why people make the joke. Well, there's two minutes of my life. I'll never get back. Um, so thank you so much for spending that time with me and being here with this show and adding your good energy and love to it. And uh, we're going to get going now. Question time. So on this show, I will answer one question or help you connect with a loved one on the other side. If you want to connect with a loved one on the other side, please have their name and their relationship ready for me. This means like Judy, my mom, Bill, my uncle, um, Al, my dad. And then if there's a specific question and or conversation or closure that you need from them, ask that so that I can get you what you want from the jump right away. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Second, if you have a question about your life, something you want to know about your life, um, excuse me, um, <clears throat> work, career, not always the same thing. Finances, money, not always the same thing. What is going on with you guys today? <laughs> like, okay, love, career, finance, money, any aspect of your life at all. <laughs> oh my goodness. Any aspect of your life at all. Um, you can ask that question, have that question like teed up and ready to go. <clears throat> and I'll be happy to answer that question for you. OK, um, if you ask a question like, what does spirit want me to know? That's going to just take a little bit longer and you might not like the answer because spirit doesn't always come through with, oh, you're rainbow and butterflies. You're the most magical thing on the face of this earth. It's not what spirit's going to tell you if you just ask, oh, spirit, tell me, tell me something. <laughs> They're going to say, get your poop in a group and let's get going. <laughs> let's get going. <laughs> like... You're doing good, but let's do better. Those are the kind of messages that spirit's always bringing through. Watch your spending. Don't sleep so much. Get off my butt. Um, that's what spirit is uh, always going to say to us. You drink too much. 
caffeine, alcohol, or coffee. I mean, come on. Could you be more specific, Spirit? I'm trying to be funny, you guys. I hope you are laughing with me. Laughing, laughing, laughing. Um, yes. Okay. So, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I want to go through and read the messages that people have left. And I'm sorry that I can't right now because I have to get to callers. Arr! If you If you are on YouTube with me right now, and you asked a question, please put it on on the um please put the question in again so I can get your question. And Amy Hugh, Amy, my girl, answered um answered my song. It's slob on my knob. <laughs> Did you guys see that hit me all the <laughs> Slob on my knob, like corn on the cob. <laughs> oh my God. That is master, master lyrical. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh. Uh -huh. Okay, so okay, so listen. I'm gonna go to the co first caller, and the first caller, uh, t when I say your area code, please tell me your name and where you're calling from. Four one seven, four one seven. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello, um, my name is Linda. I'm calling from uh, um, North Carolina, and I wanted to see. Uh, what my mom and my brother, they passed around the same time, um, maybe a couple of weeks from each other. So I wanted to see if they had anything to tell me. Yeah. Okay. So I always like to, um, and, and real quick, Linda, I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm going to do this right now. Um, my youngest brother, yeah. Stevie just called and reminded me, Hey Stevie, I love you. Now, for those of you who watch the show on a regular, you know who Stevie is. Stevie is my youngest little brother who has down syndrome and he he i he he loves when i give him a shout out and he was just calling so i want to um acknowledge him because otherwise i will oh. forget okay so please tell me the name of your brother okay. and your um mom because i love to address spirit by their name even though they're both right here like they're like right here do you see that? no okay so what's their name please <laughs> Um, my brother, my brother's name is Frank and my mom is Rosina. Rosina. Okay. So, okay. So they're right here and you're, they, they switch sides. So first your brother was, was on like what would be the right and your mom was on the left and now they switch sides. So your brother stepped in closer. So that means to me, all that means is that. When they came in, your brother had like his left arm around your mom and now they switch sides. And the only reason they would do that is to let me know that your brother is going to be giving the first message. So when, for me folks, when people give a message, I don't hear a male or female voice. And, and actually, I sure. I don't hear a voice because <laughs> then I might need a doctor because yeah. like I would be hearing voices outside of my head. <laughs> um, what it is, is yeah. it's, it's I'm I'm literally a channel where the words they say kind of come through me and come out of my mouth and sometimes I know what the words are going to be I can have a feeling I might hear one or two other words but for the most part sh shit just flies right out my mouth folks so don't hold me accountable That's for okay. it I'm just saying let it let it fly <laughs> let her fly um so the mm -hmm. first thing that your brother wants to say is um he knows uh, God. Okay. So, so, and sometimes folks, and I'm sorry, I, and, and sweetie, I'm going to get, I'm going to get to this. I love this because I get to explain a lot to people. The messages are meant for the caller and the caller should know what it means. And as much as I want to get into it too, and ask them, what'd you do? How'd you do it? Why'd you do it? I can't. It's for the caller. <laughs> It's for the color. We all want to get the tea. We all want to know what happened, why it happened, but we don't get to sometimes. <laughs> oh, no. So the first thing that your brother is saying, and when I say this, everybody's going to understand why I just said what I said. 
I'm sorry I did what I did. I'm sorry I did what I did. Now, I'm going to tell you something, love. This can be something... This can be something that was associated with a choice he made, um, something with his passing, something what or something he did like five years ago. You will know what this means. It could be something he did to somebody else or to himself. I don't know. You should know what this means. His statement is, I'm sorry I did what I did. Now, if you don't know what that means, okay. we can find out. But at this point, that's his first statement to you. The next thing he would want to say is he didn't know what the ramifications would be. He didn't understand the consequences of his choice. And I have goosebumps all up and down okay. my legs. Do you know what he's talking okay. about, love? It's probably like he's had some issues of his life, so he probably made bad choices rather than um, accepting, you know, the help that was trying to be given to him. Okay. So, it, you know, you kind of make choices and, yeah. you know, you kind of have the outcomes. I'm going to tell you, so. I, and again, it's it, it was really important for him to even speak before your mom mm -hmm. did. Because when we get, like, when we leave our body and, and everybody who's who's known me for more than a minute knows I've had three near-death experiences, and yeah. I know that yeah. when we leave our body and we're out of our body, we have such pure and true understanding. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And we can see the way everything is. We're in, in our body. We're so conflicted. We're just so, so, right. oh, oh my God, the conflict. Oh, okay. So, yeah. um, exactly. So Can he, you let him know that I love him? Oh, he does. He knows. He sees you cry. He's saying, I, I saw you cry. I see you cry. I saw you cry. I see you cry. He's like, you know, the funny thing is, and I think this is for everybody. The funny thing is he thought once he was gone, he would stop everybody suffering for him. And those are his words, not mine. Um, meaning uh -huh. the torment that he thought he was putting people through. He thought once he was gone, that would be over. That's never true. We know that as yeah. humans, th but they realize once, right. because we think as humans, like, oh, they don't really care. They're just saying, you know what I mean? Sometimes we think that people don't genuinely yeah. care about us. They're just saying what they say. We can't see and or feel the love because our energy is so distorted. So the first healing and clearing we are going to do right here, right now, and I want everybody to know this is at the 18 minute mark of the show. Come back and do this every freaking day, every freaking day. And then once a week, once you're there, um, our energy is distorted. I get a yes. I'm asking the angels to go to each and every person that hears this, sees this, plays this, knows about this, or every person that you love, that you send this to, heal our energy, clear our energy, undistort it. Sure, that's a word. Uh -huh. Angels know what I mean. So we're going to ask that this <laughs> okay. gets done right now. And then your mom is stepping in and saying, oh, my goodness. I, she's like, has this little sweetness about her right now? She just has this little sweetness about her right now. Oh, my goodness. I love you so much. Please know I love you. Um, and it was in their contracts, their agreements before they came in to go so close in time because their souls are bound, like not bound the way we think here, but it, it, they it, it, it was just an agreement they made, even though they knew right. – it would it would like really compromise the hearts of people here. They made this agreement to do this way before they ever All stepped right. into their flesh. Okay. So the next thing I want to yeah. say, or no, the I next thing that. that they want to say is they want to let you know um, you're doing amazing. You're doing much better than you think you are. And I just want to again, and I know. Everyone here, we are so hard on ourselves, right? We're so hard on ourselves. Mm -hmm. We're always like thinking, 
yeah, you know what? Everybody could get up and poop rainbows every day. No. But we think we should, <laughs> right? We think we should jump out of bed and yeah, be like, hey, world, I'm coming yeah, to get exactly. ya. Oh, my gosh. Look at everything. You know what? Sometimes just getting yeah, up and going to the bathroom way, and yeah. get, getting back in bed, that's a win. Sometimes that's a win for the day. So, so we are so... Yeah. Exactly. You know, and social media has oh. made it so difficult for people because we see these people do these like little time slots where their life looks so perfect. And we're like, ah, I wish I could hold it together like oh. that. They hope they are not holding it together. They don't. No, right? They're not. And they get help and everything. Yes, and, I understand and that. Even if they, crazy. And here's the thing. Even if they are not, even if they're not getting help, that's like 30 seconds of their life. That's a snapshot. That's an hour yeah. of their life. You don't know what the other 23 hours, they might be sitting in a tub of ice cream <laughs> crying. We don't know what goes on. But the exactly. only thing we can do is just be who we were genuinely sent down here to be. And that has nothing to do with anything other than what our heart tells us and not what anybody else tells us. So, okay, sweetie, back to you with your um, mom and your brother. They want you to know there's a gift coming to you. There's a gift coming to you. You're going to receive this gift. Now, I see snow and I see a Christmas tree. So I'm going to tell you, And but the Christmas tree is outside. It's like a pine tree Christmas tree. It's not decorated and it has snow on it. So they want you to know, I feel like this winter, you are going to get a gift from them. Now, I want to reiterate for everybody listening, when, when loved ones on the other side bring you a gift, it doesn't mean they're dropping the lottery up in your lap. I wish. <laughs> I really wish. Personally, I know. Mom, personally, could we get that going? But sometimes the gift I is know. <laughs> right. Sometimes the gift is the most amazing prophetic dream. Sometimes the gift is a uh -huh. uh, uh, hearing or smelling their scent just to know they're still around you. Sometimes the gift is, um, you know, it is sometimes it is a tangible gift. Somebody gives you something that reminds you of them or was an heirloom of them or, you know, something it does. And it doesn't necessarily have to be like a gift that is under the tree at Christmas or wrapped. Somebody could say, Hey, you know what? And, and I don't know why I'm getting this example for you, sweetie, but it's just an example for anybody listening. An, an old uh, friend could say, hey, you know what? Your brother left this, this hoodie or shirt or flannel in my car, and I wanted to give it back to you, and you grab it and you smell it. It smells just like them. What a gift, right? What mm -hmm. an amazing gift. So the gift yeah. can be different no matter uh, who or what is um, coming com, coming through. But whatever it is, this winter, you're going to get a gift from the both of them. They're putting it together together to roll out to you. Um, that's funny because that's they actually started singing a song that I think I have not heard in like a million and one years. Roll out. I, I can't even like that. I can't even get the beat of it, but they started oh. to say, um, okay. And then the, then the next thing they want to say is that you are going to have a turnaround or turn the corner and everything just like that. It's all going to be good again. So just hold on a little longer and you're going to be, um, in that place, uh, where you were, a couple um years ago or months ago so just hold on and and they're going to be they're going to be riding this ride with you now helping you to fly rather than drudge okay. through mud <sighs> okay <laughs> i love it oh my gosh thank you guys for being here thank you so much and thank you love for calling in thank you for being the first caller and that is a freaking amazing i love this today thank you so much 
interesting. Would I, would I ask my mom, or I probably would be my mom, a question um, about something that's going on now? Go Sure, go right ahead, love. Uh, does she see something, anything that is, what does she see happening um, with our our granddaughter, her her great granddaughter? Does she see, see, does she see something going on there? She's little. She's like a year and a half. Yeah, there's so much. Um, yes, no, yes, no. Um, I, okay, part of what I'm getting, I can't, I cannot say. Or do I, um, or do I need to call another time? Uh, no, well, I, I'm just not allowed, like, I'll get, I'll get flagged or banned or the show will get taken down if I say yeah. part of what I need to say. Um, what I would say, however, is um, minerals and a light. Now, now, pay attention when I use these words, especially for somebody who's a year and a half old, a very, very light detox. Um, a heavy metal detox. And I think if I'm remembering okay. correctly, do do your research on your own. Um, okay. Um, they have liquid black seed oil, which is a natural, very, very natural product. Um, sea moss burdock root, very little, small amounts. And then um, the other thing I'm hearing is uh, um, there's a product called um, chlorophyll, which helps to, you know, take anything out of the body that doesn't belong in the body. Let me just put it that way. But there are some other, and they're all natural. These things are all natural. And I'm not saying do a heavy, like, let's, um, let's like bombard. The, no, 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 no. Very does this small. Pertain to her or her mom and dad, you think? Um, you know, all of them would benefit. The first three things I mentioned are. I believe all mineral, like uh, sea moss is all the minerals we need. Um, and the second two things are uh, for the body to build, build inside of the body. They're not to take out of. Here's what I'm going to say. You know, they're not giving me the full picture on this for a lot of reasons. And what okay. I'll say for you and for this whole situation with with the the child, the one and a half year old is, it's very it's very touchy, is is the statement. And what mm -hmm. I would recommend is is this: if there is this is something that there's it's a longer answer, and I've already. Uh, I would recommend start there. If if you want to go into the whole mom and dad and child thing, that's not that's maybe something that is better suited for a private session than me yeah, trying to dance around it on air. Um, so so please consider yeah, I that. I think I'll do that. Excellent. Remember, you are valuable. And you are needed, even if people don't say it every single day or ever, you are valuable, you are needed, and you are loved. Okay? Um, I will see you Wednesday at noon. Until then, have an amazing rest of the week.